things. So Trevor and I are here at a church in South Carolina. One of the assistant pastors asked Trevor not to talk about Flat Earth at uh, some events that were coming up. So Trevor and I are gonna share some Flat Earth information with the entire congregation here, secret agent style. <laughs> They're looking at us, they're watching us put flyers on all the cars. We should stop doing flyers. Stop doing flyers because they're going to know they're flying all the time. I just put them away. Uh, see how they're all gathering out in front of the church? Let's go talk to them. All right. Just ask questions. Hey, how are you? Morning, brothers. That's what we're doing too, church. Okay, what are you looking in cars for? Oh, uh, not looking in them actually. Um, just want to give you one of these. The Bible teaches that the earth is immovable, fixed. Brother, we're, it's Christ on pillars. we're Christians and we appreciate that. Me too. Uh, yeah, I know God created the universe and he's still creating the universe, uh, but I don't- What do you mean by he's still creating the universe? The Bible says- Because it God, says it was completed on day six. He created the earth. The universe, who knows what it's doing out there. Maybe you need to go, uh, as I said, find Test this, all things. Not read these lips. Don't. Just take a flyer. Okay. You got same, 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 same. Cool. God stopped the sun in Joshua to yeah. stop the day, correct? We don't need you filming things, buddy. I need it. I need it as evidence for how the pastors react to biblical cosmology because I find it truly disheartening that this is how Christians respond to someone that simply wants to ask questions about scripture. Do you believe God made a spinning ball earth in infinite space? Yes or yes. no? Yes. God's word says nothing about a spinning ball. Give me one verse. Just in the beginning, Give God me... created the heavens and the earth. This is the earth, fair yes. time. He created everything. On nothing it. about that proves it's a ball. Look, I, don't, what you I know that verse by heart. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. You're the earth was without yeah, yeah. But brother, I the don't earth know was what. without form and void. Where's your Bible? And the, the darkness your Bible? moved over. I got it memorized. No, no, darkness don't. moved over the deep, and the Spirit of God moved over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God separated the light from the day, and the light he called day, and the darkness he called night. Come on, guys. Go. You're joking. Go. You're joking right now. No, you are. Go. <laughs> Enough of your stuff that you're spewing out. Anything, Trevor, to add? The firmament. God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. It's firm, solid, something solid above our heads. If I ever need you, I'll call you. You don't have my now, number. Go, What's my phone it. number? I got it memorized. We're, we're all forgiven. We're standing up for the firmament because oh, the listen, heavens declare the glory of God. Yeah. God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. It's firm, solid, something solid above our heads. Right, you don't the have the right touch. You're the police. I, I let me see your badge. Are you lying again? Who cares about creation? The get things. off this property. Uh, get off the property. Uh, so no, go. My name is Nathan Thompson. Nathan I run the Thompson. largest. I run the largest flat Earth group in the world. And so Jesus said, if you don't understand the earthly things, how will you understand the heavenly things? Okay. You, you don't want your question. Well, that's fine. So don't you move know. On. Well, Just fine. Move on. Cool. Make that claim. The conversation is over. Why would you make that claim? Uh, because, because With what I, evidence? Just. The Bible says be a circle. The earth is a circle, which yeah. is a flat shape. Yeah. Okay.
Earth's flat. Now you're happy to go. Sweet. Praise God. I'm moving, no, so we're not just, spinning. Just, and God didn't create it, so y'all move on. No, God did create it. You just said in the beginning God created the heavens yeah, and the earth. Here, man. Come on. I had you, enough you can roll. Have you ever met a biblical earther? Someone who believes real cosmology? Has this ever occurred to you that this is a real thing? I believe the earth is random. God put it in an orbit. Whoa, 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 whoa. God says God. it's immovable. So how could he put it in an orbit and say it's immovable? You smile. You smile because you know well, the scriptures. The devil is the father of lies. So, yes. and, the, and the Bible says, test all things right. and hold fast to that which is true. Yeah. So you came out and said, I believe this. And I'm saying, yo, your Bible that we believe in is telling us to test all things. And this right. gentleman over there is telling us, oh, it's a ball. It's in space. Well, I'm he not... hasn't tested any of that. Well, he didn't have one scripture to support we that are, either. We, always, we all believe different things. And, and, uh, and you have a, your right to your opinion. I'm not going to tell you that it's wrong. I'm not going to say that I'm right or I'm wrong or whatever. <laughs> you know, he's just... Well, the thing is, the Bible says raise kids up in the way you want them to be, and then and they'll follow that path. But if you get raised for 60, 70 years believing a lie, then your ego, and you become emotionally attached to the lie. And, and that doesn't make it right. That doesn't make it true. But it's just an emotional response. I get that all the time, my man. I've done this 10,000 times, and it's always the same thing. Where are you based? I mean... I you, keep it moving. You keep, move. I was in Dallas yesterday. Dallas. Yes, okay. sir. I did a debate wow. over there. You've been the, a long way. <laughs> the video already has 10,000 views. I did a debate and it was the exact same thing there. Just guys yelling at me, pointing in my face, calling me names. So there's nothing new under the sun. The truth will be attacked. At first, it'll be violently opposed and ridiculed, right? Yeah. And then yeah. it'll be mocked yeah. and then it'll become self-evident. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. <laughs> Trevor, I love how you went into the firmament. And the firmament. Immediately. That was beautiful, dude. Thanks, bro. And there's no way. They're not even trying to take the flyers. So all these cars got flat smacked. Those guys got the truth. They didn't have any good arguments scripturally or scientifically. They live on a globe. And I'd say all in all, that was excellent. We did a pretty I good job. I hope God was glorified, you know? I really do. For good, I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Until the next video, peace out.